Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm never going live up on ASB. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you all with open arms. I'm ASB and I'm all about creating mental health and awareness, sharing my life stories with the special syndrome, OCD and the like. I also do some tips and advice along the way with some of the general health system, mental health stuff, as well as just basically words of encouragement to lighten your day to whatever you go through as well as many other everyday videos that you may have seen flying about with fun and games and everything else. It has been brought to my attention and said that at this point in time I'm trying to do as many videos to come out this month before the end of the month especially even though it may be autism awareness month but I'll hopefully try to find some autism, more autism related topics which I humbly apologise in advance so to speak that if you guys are looking for some more of that I'll be back on board for that hopefully in the next week or two time permitting so in further ado guys even when we know that with the main topic of my health and awareness especially is obviously a broad range of topics along with my beauty from ashes so this one's going to be 80, 18 worries of someone with anxiety when their friend doesn't text back as we know basically we tend to think to ourselves you know what does it mean when it takes someone a long time to text us back it's like, did we say something wrong? Are they busy? Are they avoiding me? Are they, you know, at work? If, has the battery died? Maybe they're having a bad day and haven't been able to look at their phone. The possibilities are endless and plentiful, however, but for those who live with anxiety disorders, it's the unknown of these people possibilities that are enough for us to just get into a data spiral of worries and anxiety and tend to have self-doubt and everything else that runs around our head to obviously cloud our perception and judgment regardless of it all. Even though not everyone with anxiety will react in the very same way, just remember that anxiety for some people will, you know, differ from one person to the next on how they, you know, cope and act towards this. Yes, it can be stressful when you're not sure why a loved one hasn't got back to you though. To find out what people with anxiety do worry about, obviously the mighty of the article I was reading about asked a few people on the mental health community to share one thing that goes through their mind when a friend doesn't text back. So what I'm going to list of the 18 of them, and if you can relate, obviously we know that we're not alone. And if before I begin this as well, I'm a medical doctor, I'm just doing your blog, sharing my life stories and experiences of what I've been through and hopefully that you guys don't go through the same thing as well as seeing if any signs and symptoms do, you know, ring alarm bells to you all in regards to these everyday topics I share that is close to my heart. For you, seek help for yourself or your loved one or just, you know, a second opinion regardless of what it may be. Also, before I begin, I would have clearly address that, you know, after the 18 worries that maybe if you're watching to add a few bits that maybe you, you feel to share that goes through your mind, and, you know, a friend of yours doesn't text back and whatnot or how you can overcome this sort of thing even though many people know that sometimes when people are anxious you know it's all in our heads for crazy it, we're just doing this for tension whatever but no this is serious along with many other mental health disorders that i've clearly addressed so let's begin this number one is have i annoyed them have i said too much already to them are they avoiding me for some particular reason this is just that my text doesn't need an answer right now or even though i want a response to know that they are you know responding are they too busy for me am i depending on them for too much all the time number two is either i must have said something wrong or they're too busy at that given moment of time well i'm not important or good enough for them to have a conversation with it's these constant thoughts in my head that i'm always rolled on hell with the way self-doubting myself everything i said i all do is wrong that's why I'm too scared to say anything, or even if I did, I'd probably figure it. they just were replying to make me feel better. Number three, I'm a burden. I'm a negative person in their life, and they are better off when they aren't associated or caring with me in any way. Did I say something wrong? Is talking to me something you consider a chore that you hate doing, but you need to do it regardless? 
Number four, I always think I'm annoying them or that I have unwillingly done something to upset or anger them. On a high anxiety day, I feel like this about anyone at any given time. Family, friends, even my husband. It is exhausting to feel unwanted or because someone took a little longer to reply to me. Number five, something catastrophic must have happened to them or our relationship has suddenly and inexplicably imploded and I worry about what I said to make it that way in the first place. Number six, my constant thought starts with they are just talking to me or being my friend because it's the polite thing to do. Not because they want to or because we are friends. When they don't text back, I assume I was being too much of a burden and they finally have had enough and have cut ties with me. Number seven, I think they're either tired of hearing a pity party if I'm discussing a problem I have or that I'm bothering them, eating their time and I realise this. Number eight, TBH, I usually go right to the extreme. If I know that person isn't at home, kidnap a trip and a falling, and a full breaking a bone, car crash, those kind of things is exhausting. Number nine, they are dead, hurt in the hospital, in jail, in trouble, they're ignoring me, leaving. I said something that, and they're gone. They opened it and are writing a long response to tell me off. They're just tired of me and they need a break. They're talking to someone else. My head's spinning and hurts and it makes me sick to think what it might be over and over again, making it worse and worse. Number 10, I have a negative thought when I hear the phone ring. Maybe the feel of more bad news. Haven't heard good news in a very long time, however. Too long. A negative thought after anything and everything I do or think. It's hard to enjoy anything. I can't even breathe without a negative thought ruining my life experiences. Number 11. Did I just look at the phone and think, Why is she texting me? I don't even like her. Doesn't she get that I don't want to talk to her? I always feel like this when I'm in a burden and I'm bothering people. Even if that's just a small conversation or a question I'm asking, there's always that voice in your head telling you that you're wrong for texting them. Even if it's your significant other, your best friend or family members. Number 12. I feel as if I've done so or said something wrong. I re-examine everything I've ever said to them just in case. For reassurance, I've said something that has led to them to not respond. Number 13. They don't care about me. They're out having fun with people that aren't exhausting to be around. I said something wrong again. They've sent the text, but I'm too much to deal with right now. They don't want to say no again, so they'll text back later and start up busy. 14. I usually think they don't find talking to me interesting anymore. That they're bored and that I'm not good enough or social enough to make them want to talk to me. I want to text them again to prove my theory is wrong, but I don't. Because I'm just scared. I'll become annoying and too clingy. I am not though, however. I'm just fear they don't like me anymore. Number 15. Have they just been being friendly with our friendship just to not hurt my feelings? Do they really hate me? What did I do to hate me? Did they take my tone at all? Did they read it this way because I meant it this the other way? Maybe they put my messages on silent. They're probably talking to me or about me to their old friends. Am I bothering them too much? I hate texting first because I text back really quick and my mind runs a million miles an hour. Number 16. When my boyfriend is out and he doesn't answer, I worry he might hate me. Thinks I'm annoying and wants to break up even though nothing rational indicates that he would. I don't worry about my closest friends or family. I think it's because I've known them for over 10 years or most of my life. 17. The number one question that really bugs me is have they finally got sick of me? 18. I once was texting someone and they stopped texting me back for four hours straight. About an hour after they stopped, a helicopter flew above my house and I only thought that they were in a car accident. I knew it was insane to think this, but my mind still made me think it. Although these worries and fears feel real in the moment, obviously I want you to leave with you with this as well as a reminder for me. Questions are, 
Has anyone ever gotten busy or forgotten to text you back? I sure have, believe you me. I struggle with severe anxiety, but I talk to myself through things instead of letting the bad thing, thoughts take over, or I try to keep myself busy to try and make sure that even if no one is talking to me, it's okay to have my downtime for myself. If someone doesn't text me back, I know for certain, 99% of the time, this has nothing to do with me. They may be busy doing their own thing, maybe they are at work doing their own everyday thing. And couldn't respond and then it escapes our minds or their minds especially maybe they're dealing with something themselves i.e anxiety or they're going through something personal themselves like a death of a family we shouldn't be putting ourselves down regardless though because of other people's reactions or actions towards us we need to give them the benefit of the doubt as well though however also, if it is a recurrent thing, then stop texting them. You're not a burden though, however, you're not ugly. You're not always wrong and not, not dead, obviously. Well, this quickly ends the 18 rows of someone with anxiety when their friend doesn't text back. Give me the like for thumbs up support. Comment below if I've missed out anything. Or just feel free to just, you know, comment below, say hi, as or something, just to show that you're engaging with me. Feel free to share these videos around to family and friends so we can create an awareness and understanding between each other. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Feel free to turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date when I post more new content out. So without further ado guys, thanks for support, thanks for watching, do what you love, love what you do. Until next time, SB signing out and I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now.